Howdy folks, time for another shit hoard fuck updates. Got this today, a little Sherlock style bubbler. Ooh, it's a big ass bud, but it's gonna have to fit. Gotta be careful not to lean it forward. This is a stupid bubbler. <laughs> not for novices. Meow. works. Okay. Let's crack one open too. Okay, so this is all the shit I got today. Mmm, feel all that shit. Smells like tobacco. <laughs> okay. So first off, number one was the bubbler. That was that was twenty dollars. I had to buy it. Number two is this tobacco pipe. That was four bucks. That the cutest little thing. It's so tiny. Like here's a compact disc case. And there is the size of the pipe. So tiny. So, so tiny. Get that shit out. Let's. Except it's very loose right there. I don't like that. I didn't notice how loose it was. And... Oh well. We got this at Ghost uh, Dollar Store. So, fuck yeah. Um, Biggs, Chili Lime, and Tepito, uh, Sunflower Seeds, fucking good shit, son. Let's stick that back in the bag. Fuck, did I spill my bubbler? I don't think so. <laughs> don't fucking touch it. Okay. Put that shit right there. Okay. VHS number one. This you can't see shit. You know, look cool as shit. I gotta take this shit off because I like the light. I have to eat in the light. I can't eat in the dark. I gotta have a light on. Okay, it's called the Wildlife Original Studio Collector Series. It brings your fantasies to life. Uh, came out in '85. Wild fucking life. Frog. It's just called Frog. I know this doesn't look good, but it also looks really... It could be really awesomely terrible. With, like, really cheesy, cheap, uh... Acting. Or it could just be a really, ter a, a really poor movie, but... Sometimes these are... are, are, are Funnier than you would expect. Of course, you might have to be smoking something or drinking something at the time, but I don't know. Parents' guide: each of each one of us is unique," said Arlo's mom. Arlo, what the fuck, are you from? With our very own personality, why is it important to remember that when talking to a frog? Communication, Arlo said. People always understand underestimate things they don't understand why do you think what do you think he meant so this is like supposed to be for a school so 
I, I gotta see how bad this is. It can't be. It can't be as bad as recent Adam Sandler movies, because those those are just the epitome of dog vomit diarrhea. Fifty two pickup, media studio. That means it's probably gonna be cheesy. This is the box my pipe came in. Oh, I thought it was four dollars. It's actually two ninety nine for that pipe. So that's a good, good ass deal. Um, Monkey Trouble, a splendid family film as entertaining as Free Willy. Well, I've seen Freely, Free Willy many times. They have it on, uh, on, on cable or satellite every so often. Monkey Trouble, that girl is the same girl that was in Hocus Pocus, which I don't think I own it. Pretty sure I don't, but. Every year it's on TV. Every Halloween, every Halloween season, it's on TV. So, I, as as much of a hoarder as I am, I I typically don't have movies of shit they play on TV constantly. Uh, David Spade is Dickie Roberts, former child star. I completely forgot about this movie. I've never seen it. Um, I watched the trailer, and the trailer did not look too terrible. It didn't look great, but it didn't look too terrible. Um, what's his name? Screech is in it. Uh, and yeah. Anyway, I don't want to spend too much time talking about that one, but it's David Spade back in 2004. That was probably the 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 peak of his career, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Breaking the Rules. Thomas E. Howell, Jason Bateman, Jonathan Silverman, and Potts. Never heard of it, but it looks interesting. Uh, the ladies on the road trip of their lives to once in a lifetime woman. Anyway. It's fun. Losing It, starring Tom Cruise and Shia Long. Usually I've been staying away from Tom Cruise movies, but when you got 57 Chevy on the box, I'm buying that shit. I've never heard of Embassy Home Entertainment. Hi-Fi Mono Man, whoa. This one came out in 88. No. Apparently 88, but it also says 82, so I don't know if the if it was recorded in 82 and the tape came out in 88, or if it's a reprint made remade in 80 reprinted in 88. Anyway, whatever. Cruise into the hilarious adventure. The Babysitters Club. I like shows like that. I I do actually like Degrassi, and if this is kind of like a what a drama but comedy drama whatever anyway cheesy anyway I'll never know until I look at it America's favorite girls based on the number one best-selling book series when this come out 93 how could I not buy this it came out in 93 everything was awesome in 93 like Super Nintendo Sega Subarus Everything. I don't know. Better turn that shit down. Death to Smoochie. I've never seen this. Uh, I don't know. If, I'm pretty sure this is one of uh, Robin Williams' like underrated movies. I don't want to. Or, or Lemons. Like I didn't get. I don't remember getting very good um, reviews, reception, whatever. And I don't see it very often, so I've never seen it, so, hmm. Anyway. Ron Williams, Edward Norton, Danny DeVito. Bonus footage includes hilarious outtakes. The tape was made in 2002. That's not when it was released, was it? I thought it came out like, 95. Hmm. 
Now I'm spending too much time on this. Got some lots of bandages. Band okay. Rolling papers. I've never heard of roll it. I wonder if they're any worse than Uglair Top. I don't like getting uh, good rolling paper is expensive. It's like you know a dollar for thirty-two leaves. Let's stuff that shit in the bubbler. Some lipstick. I mean chapstick. Fuck. I have that shit. Oh, this flashlight was a butt. <laughs> it says police security, and the battery was included. Security, you can't read that. You can never have too many flashlights. You can have too many flashlights, like you can have too many vaginas. There we go. Holy shit, that's bright. It's smaller than my thumb. Bigger than my thumb. Anyway, you get the idea. It's fucking tiny. But I'm sure you think it's somebody out there is going to be saying, but why don't you just use your phone? Because phone, because phones die. And I like shit. Okay, so that's simple. Get a load of this. Smoky Mountain Straight. I haven't tried this yet. But I did already crack it. It's so weird. It doesn't smell, it smells... Kind of like straight, but also smells like minty straight. Not bad, I think. Yes. Oh yeah, I got some uh, maple. Maple and whiskey, tobacco. That was a buck ninety nine for for that much. Or you can spend ten dollars for a pouch of Captain uh, Captain Black. I really like Captain Black. I haven't had it in a while. And that's ten dollars for one half ounces. Or is this a dollar ninety nine? Hmm. I think I'll take this one. It smells so good. I have to drive quite a ways to get some quality tobacco. I don't. It's so much better than. pre-rolled shit. Yeah, this, uh... Smoky Mountain Stray is... I don't think I like it. I had to try it. I don't think I like it. I should just got peach. Because I love peach. But this is like. Almost like cough syrup. Faintly, because I took some peach and mixed it with some straight. Because I, I had to dip in one thing and I put it back in, in the peach one and then I mixed it. And then I put it back in my mouth, and oh my god, that's like straight up cops, cough syrup. This isn't that bad, but it also tastes like cardboard. Or. Oh, cherry. Oh. Fuck. I just throw it the corner. Uh, throw it the door. <laughs> I 
This gets a fuck you. Don't buy this shit. It, it, it's bad. Okay. Oh yeah, I also got a... Yeah, that was so nasty. Whew. I also got a fishing pole. It's a Zebco direct drive. I don't remember the model number. It's in the garage. I don't feel like dragging it out here. Maybe I'll make a video using it. Who knows? Anyway. Pretty damn smooth. I like it. And then I could set that down. This is this as cool as it looks, it's that's supposed to what's this right here is supposed to be what it stands on. What a fucking joke. So you gotta like put it in your in your desk drawer and prop it up on something. Don't fuck it up. Don't 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 tip it over. Anyway, I'll make another video on that. Um and you know, and if you put too much water in it, you'll get your weed wet. I forgot about that. Whatever. It, it's so smooth when it hit when when you put enough right enough water in it, get it set up. It's nice. Now I'm gonna put some shit in the other pipe. I can't believe I I bought that straight. Cause regular straight tobacco straight tobacco tastes all right. A lot of people hate it, but really it it just tastes like a. a not cherry, but like Dr. Pepper or like plum, prune kind of flavor in tobacco. Maybe, I don't know, it's just a different taste of tobacco. Maybe st stronger, straighter. Not brown, but red. Maybe a red tobacco flavor? I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, this shit is the nastiest shit. Mint's, mint's good. It's like you're chewing on, well, mint. It's good, but. I like straight tobacco. I've had Grizzly and Longhorn, and they were okay. But that is shit. Oh my god. At least it was cheap. At least it was only $3. Okay, so. I'll use my cat ladder. Hmm, it's not staying lit for some reason. So much better than cigarettes. Oh my god, like, I'm so glad I didn't get hooked on cigarettes. Although, I was starting to. I, I like, I am hooked on the, on the Nick, but not really hooked. I mean, I'm liking it, but. Not smoking no packs. I'm gonna pack in a couple weeks to start dipping. It's a nice little pipe. Might need a little bit of tape though because this is like really loose. Get this shit, shitty flavor out of my mouth. So, here's to get my video flagged. A little bit. So I get to last a long time.
Drip, drip, drip. Goes the water. See you next time, folks.